YouTube. Um, <clears throat> so, like I said in my last video, I wanted to um, give you a, I wanted to tell you a story, a bedtime story. I'm actually gonna lower this. There we go. Ooh, too low. All right. I wanted to tell you guys a story of what happened because I said in my last video, um, if you watched it, that I dislocated my bottom jaw, like, and it was dislocated. Um, so I'm gonna tell you the story of that right now after I comb my hair. So I can get it out of my... Alright, so, here's here's what the story is. Alright, so, I went to church um, s Valentine's Day, on Valentine's Day, and, uh, um, because Jessica, J-Ray, she was giving a talk in church, and I was like, hey, you know, I need to go see her talk. Anyways, I, I always go to her church just about, so. Anyways, I went to the church, and I had sat down waiting for her to uh, give me, uh, for her to talk. And before church had even started, we had gotten there, and it was Valentine's Day. Remember, it was Valentine's Day. So, uh, you know, we had gotten there, and we had, I, I before I... Before I left, I had made sure that week that I had bought chocolates and flowers, and I had, you know, a song written for her that I was going to sing, and I was, uh, I had all this stuff planned, and like, so I went, I, we, we go to church, and she's going to give her talk, and I'm like, alright, this is going to be awesome, and all of a sudden, I'm not sure if you guys know what TMJ is, but I have TMJ, and it's like, terminal mouth, jaw, stuck, pain thing, and it basically means if you yawn, sometimes your mouth will get locked in place, and it'll go about uh, wider than that, but I can't go wider because I might dislocate my jaw again. Um, so, it gets locked, and you're like, uh, and you can't close it, and eventually it'll just shut by itself. Well, uh, so I had done that. I had, I yawned in church, and uh, my mouth got stuck, and I was like, "Oh, great!" And this has happened before, so I just kind of kept messing with it, and I went like this, and I put it back into place, and I was like, "Something did not feel right in this vicinity right here. Just, it didn't feel right." And oddly enough, I, I yawned again, and my mouth got stuck, but this time it wouldn't go closed, like. I was messing with it, I was moving it, and it wouldn't close. And I was like, you know, my mouth is just like, wider than that, though. My mouth was open about, about that wide. I mean, it was about that wide. Like, all the way open, like as far as it can go. And, uh, so that was, that's what happened. And I, I ran to the bathroom because, you know, I, I was like, oh, uh, covering my mouth, and I went to the bathroom, and I call my mom, and I'm like, oh, I can't my mouth, I can't cover my mouth. and she's like, all right, I'll send dad in there, and so my dad comes in, and grabs my jaw, and he starts shaking it, trying to put it back into place, and I'm like, because it hurts, and I'm like, it's not going, and so I'm taking paper, paper towels, and putting them up against my mouth, so the drool will, like, not just keep coming out, because I couldn't swallow. My mouth was open so wide. I couldn't even touch. To give you an example, um, I couldn't touch my tongue to the top of my mouth. It was open that wide. I was like, uh, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't touch it, and just, so I couldn't make any t -t sounds or anything like that. So, we go out and we try to find like a nurse or a doctor in the church and we find one and he can't do anything he says I need to go to the hospital so me and my dad get in the car go to the hospital and before I go Jessica just starts her talk and I'm like oh and so I miss her talk and I tell my mom tell the bishop tell the bishop 
to tell Jessica what happened. And so she goes and tells the bishop, I guess. And uh, so I go to the emergency room. And what is it with emergency people and taking forever? I hate that. All right, that sucked. Uh, get that out of the way. I hate the emergency room, all right? I hate it. So I go in there. I've been in there more than enough times. So I go in there. My phone's ringing. Say hi to Nick Angel. All right. Um, and uh, so it's just like I go in there, and they're like, so has this happened before? When was the last time it happened? How how often does it happen? And I'm like, I can't talk. I can't talk. And they don't get it. And so I wait there for an hour and a half. And so keep time. So I've, I've been at the church for a half hour. I wait in the waiting room for like an hour, I think just an hour. So that's an hour and a half. Um, Jessica texts me, and she's like, where are you? I, are you okay? And I'm like, the bishop didn't even tell her. So I text her, and I'm like, I'm in the emergency room. And she's like, oh my gosh, I'm coming to see you as soon as I can. I'm going to get my mom, and she's going to come. So her mom come, went and picked her up. So I wait in the emergency room, and I get into the next hospital room where the doctor, where they ask me the same series of questions. I'm like, good God, people, what what is your problem? And so he tries to grab my jaw and shake, and it's not working. So they're like, all right. We're going to give you Valium to uh, try to be a muscle relaxer so then we can fix it. And I was like, okay. And so they tried to get me to swallow a pill. I couldn't swallow my own saliva. How am I supposed to swallow a pill? Idiots. Um, anyways, so what I did was they, they got me to try to drink a sip of water. And I was like, oh, and it just let it all come out because I couldn't do nothing. And so I wait in that waiting room because they're like, all right, we're going to have to hook you up to an IV. So I wait in another waiting room for another half hour till a nurse comes over and says, okay, we can take you into the next room. Or I go into that room to wait for another 45 minutes. So that's, in, that's two hours and 45 minutes so far. So that somebody can take me into another room and give me a CAT scan so they can tell me, okay, both sides of your mouth are dislocated. Like, the way TMJ works is, you know, here is your jaw right here and then here is the jaw bone and it goes in there like I don't know if you can see like this and it locks in well when you have TMJ it's like this so it kind of shakes around and sometimes it'll come over here sometimes it'll come like over here and it'll lock back in place well mine went clunk clunk all the way down here alright so it, it wasn't able to go back up to here to go into there so uh, so they t they sit me in a room for another hour until this little Asian doctor, tiny little Asian doctor, and I don't mean to stereotype, but Asians are short, like really short, and female Asians are even shorter. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, they send that in there, and uh, so she she says, you know, you're going to have this, and, you know, by that time, J. Ray has uh, made it, and she's, you know, trying to comfort me. And so they hook me up to an IV, and I hate needles. <laughs> they hook me up to an IV, and uh, they finally, after you know, another like 30 minutes, so it's been like four hours now, they tell my parents and Jessica and everyone to leave. And everyone leaves, and uh, they put me on the medicine. The first medicine they gave me was the muscle relaxer. And they're like, this is just a muscle relaxer. And everything like in small increments, like here is spinning, here is spinning, here is spinning, here is spinning. Like it was so weird. And I was like, Whoa. But I was touching myself to see if I felt any pain. And I still did. I still felt pain. And so they gave me the next medicine. And they were like, this one should make you a little tired. And I was like, okay. And so they gave me the medicine. And it's not doing nothing. I'm still awake. And she, the Asian doctor's wrapping her hand with this stuff so it won't hurt. And she climbs up on top of the bed over top of me. And starts messing with my jaw. Shaking it. Shaking it like it's like I'm a rocker or something. And she's getting all in there and it doesn't work and so she gets off and goes okay it's almost there I can feel it and she gets back on and starts to do it well I fell asleep and when I wake up they had my jaw was fixed and they were like try to open and close and I was like no no oh and so I gave everyone in there a hug and I was so so happy that uh, you know they fixed my jaw and I found out later that she actually wasn't able to do it they actually had to get a male nurse like big big nurse you know big guy like three times the size of me to actually fix my jaw because she couldn't do it. So that's the story of my jaw. Isn't that crazy? It's, it's crazy. Just located my jaw.